All right, got one for you here. A little par three course, the short course at Mountain Shadows. Um, pretty cool one. Uh, a lot of varying distances for the par three course, and these pin locations are brutal. So we'll see how we can do here at this one. Starting off on one. Uh, I think we're in the back tees. Going straight left. Thanks. That was an interesting shot to open. 22 remaining, blasting that past. And an opening three putt double bogey is not what you want to do on the par three course. But we will continue on in hopes that we play a little better and in furtherance of the mission of bringing these courses to you. Really small greens here at Mountain Shadows. It's uh, a true test on a par 3 course. We get some long par 3s even later on I believe. I do think if I remember correctly it's 9 holes and then it repeats the 9 holes again. We'll double check that uh, as we go along here, 157 yard par three, third coming up, and a really skinny green here. This one looks really good. Just short of a birdie, but an absolute dart. And that's really what you want to see when you go out to a par three course, just right at the pin get the distance right get the direction right try and do both at the same time that one I could see my right shoulder come way over the top and that just sent it like a slicey very poor contact there 29 remaining for a par pretty good uh, touch there and we're at plus two through four headed over to the fifth 95 yards another small green got a hundred yard shot playing a fade bite played the fade to take that five yards off of the hundred yard shot and it works out very well and we fought our way back now to plus one through five. 130 yards here. Distance was pretty good. And, you know, that local knowledge getting the kick off the hill. And rolling, rolling, rolling. I always say it never rolls into the gimme circle. And today's no exception. Ooh, cool little water hole coming up here on seven. Just a 71 yard little chip over the water. Another brutal pin location. I've been onto the Sunday pin locations. Um, and some of them are just, if you ran into them in real life, you'd be upset. Safe shot there for a par. And we follow 71 yards up with 186 yards. And that's kind of what I like about this Mountain Shadows course. Uh, it really does vary everything pretty good. That was trying to be a draw, and I knew that I, I tagged it, but just did not get any of the metrics right. Way to the right, 40 remaining. Blasted. Making a mess of eight here. 13 remaining now. And that one rolls just past as well. So another dub two double bogeys on the front nine of a par three course. Uh, seems like I know what part of my game to work on. Jeez. Another 90 yard shot pin tucked in the front left.
I don't know why I was so upset. I think that I just I thought I gave it way too much and was going to blow it by the green. It does go over the pin, but it settles pretty good. All right, 10th hole. Did we start over here? 94 yards. Big bounce. Oh, just gets caught up. Good chip there for a par. Let's check out the 11th. 156 yards. I think these are still new holes. This is a 18 hole par three. Playing the fade, trying to stay away from that water. And this one perfect. Executing like that really does feel good, even in a simulator. 95 here over the water again. Pin tucked in the back left. I'm gonna try and play a draw. It is a nice tight draw. Bite. Uh, four inches outside the circle for a birdie. In some real life scenarios, we might make that putt, but we'll take the par here. We're still plus two. That one, uh, not happy with the contact. There was a big hill right there, but it did not kick far enough. 13th hole, we have 14 yards remaining, and that one needs to check. Oh man, just giving away strokes here. So you, you walk around and you hit back towards the same green. 104 yards pin in another ridiculous location, and this one's left all the way. It catches the cart path, rolls to a stop on the other side. My friends are probably laughing at me if this is where I've been, but a good par save on that one. All right, 15, 183. A skinny green going left to right. I thought I squared that one up pretty good, but it is a little short. And it's outside of the two putt circle. That's going to be a three putt bogey again. We're going to get back up to plus four as we head to the 16th. After, frankly, doing a pretty good job crawling back into it here. All right, 116 yards. Dead straight, comes off straight, be the right distance, big hop. Oh, that's twice. Actually, that's like three times we've been right outside of that birdie circle. So some really good shots that have just resulted in pars, which that happens. Good shots should result in pars. 184 again for the 17th hole, and this one just left, left, and not coming back. Struggling with uh, some balance there, it looks like. Probably specifically with that club. This one, too far. Is it going to come back? In the first time in history, it will roll back. And look how happy I am. I've never seen it. All right, 18th. We're headed back to the clubhouse. We've got 100 left. They put the pin in the back left corner. If you've made it this far. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, drop a comment, tell me what other GS Pro courses you want to see on the channel if you're interested in some. Go search my channel for previous courses if you want to see ones you might want to play. Uh, and we're using the Garmin R10, if that wasn't clear. Another chippy, this one rolls back in two in a row. That have rolled back into the circle that's amazing two double bogeys three birdies a bunch of really good shots a bunch of bad shots and uh, seven of 18 greens not great 30 putts also not great double bogeys not great like and subscribe and the rest we'll see you next time peace